You know, many of you in the workplace, oh, here comes such and such. We can't tell that joke. We can't talk about, oh, oh, here's Holy Roller. You know, there's a purification there. And on this point, this is where you've heard me say before, men, especially men or parents, you've got to make your home a holy sanctuary, not a breeding ground for Satan. Like, whoa, what's that guy talking about? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Your home is either purifying and honoring God, and it's a holy place where worship takes place, kids are built up, the marriage is restored, or it's a breeding ground for Satan while we're allowing these things to come into our home. Think about it. Let me read a few points from the article in, in your bulletin. We've lost our influence on the culture, and instead the culture has made an indelible influence on the church. It's the church who's putting all these movies on the top ten. It's the church who's made the porn industry a billion dollar industry. It's the church. Shane, what are you talking about? Well, 90% of America confess that they are Christians. Probably the number's much lower, lower now. But my point is, Christians are influenced by the culture because there's no difference, there's no distinction. Come out from among them, be separate. It's the distinction that makes a difference. Let me say that again. If you take one thing away from this message tonight, let it be this. It's your distinction that makes the difference. Why? Because God honors that distinction. He honors it. That's being filled with the Spirit of God. In times past, the hero was the father, not Edward from Twilight. The greatest influence in the home was the mother, not Bella. And kids once quoted scriptures, now they're casting spells. Didn't you talk about this last year, Shane? Yeah, but it's absolutely relevant today because it's showing you how the culture influences the church. I've seen young adult Christians with porn star stickers on their trucks and cars. Like, that's cool. See, that's not cool, that's perverted. What's happening? The culture is influencing the church. And now we have all these books on marriage where the porn industry is influencing the church, the Christians. Can we do this? Can't we do this? Can we do it? What about this? What, the, everything's influencing the church. The church is call, called to come out from among them, be separate, stand, set a guide, draw a line in the sand and say here and no further. This is what we stand for. This is the purifying effect. This is the cleansing effect of the church, of Christians. Yeah, you can call us lukewarm and narrow-minded and bigoted and all these things, but Jesus said you have to be the salt and the light of the earth. And if you lose that seasoning, you might as well just be cast out into the side of the road. That's what they did with bad salt. Just throw it in the field. It's not good for anything anymore. So you have to remember that. Your effectiveness in this world is directly related to your spiritual condition of your heart. You will not affect anything if you're being infected by the world. We call that playing Christian. You say it, but there's no power to back it. 